Hello everyone. So before the year ends, I just wanted to make this video to encourage all of you to pursue a personal relationship with Jesus because Jesus wants to be your friend and he doesn't want to be a God just far away from you, you know. He wants to be so involved in your life and he wants to be a friend and to know you and that you may know him, you know, the same way that he would say of Abraham, the Bible says, he said of Abraham that Abraham is my friend and I know him. So I wanted to share with you my four, um, my four favorite, favorite moments with Jesus. Like I really, really love these moments that I spent with the Lord and I'm sharing them to show you that Jesus is not just a God far away, he is real and that he's our friend. So the first moment, uh, the first, um, what, I don't know what to call it, the first experience that I want to share with you is when I was, oh, you know, I'm sorry if my son interrupts because mostly I record the videos when he's asleep but he's awake. So the first one, I had shared some of the Lord's messages with some people, like with a lot of people, and then I was getting a lot of negative, negative, negative reactions from people who did, who did not agree with the messages that they were from the Lord. And then, so I went to visit a certain person who was one of the people whom I had shared the messages of the Lord with, you know, he's a pastor. You know, he has been a pastor for a very, very long time. And then when I when I went to his house and then he, he just, you know, he sat me down and then he started to rebuke me about the messages. He rebuked me and then he just told me that, you know, like you have to be very careful because uh, you may not, like you're not hearing from the Lord. This is not the Lord telling you all these things. And he started saying all these all, all these negative things just because he did not agree. And, you know, he started telling me a lot of negative things. And then, you know, I was very new in the Lord. I was a baby Christian. I had just given my life to Jesus. I had just had my first experience with Jesus, you know, which was my first experience in the spiritual realm. And I knew it was the Lord talking to me, you know, I knew it was the Lord. And whatever the Lord was telling me or not was not contradicting his word. And then I remember after he had told me all these things and then I went into the garage. I went into the garage and then I, I just sat there because I just wanted to be alone because I knew that was the only place I would get privacy. And, and then I was just there alone and then I was just crying, you know, like I was so heartbroken you know, because I was a baby Christian, I was new and I was crying, you know, I was crying out to the Lord and, and then I was telling the Lord, look at what this man was telling me, look at all these things that this person was telling me, Lord, you know, I was just telling the Lord how much it hurt me, how I felt. And then I didn't even, ex I didn't even expect the next thing that happened, but the next thing that happened when I was crying out is I saw the Lord Jesus and the Lord walked to where I was, to where I was kneeling. There was a bench in the garage, you know, at the, at the, just near the wall. And I was just kneeling there and praying and crying. And then I was leaning against the bench and I was kneeling down. The Lord walked to where I was. He extended his hand to me. He reached out to me and then he helped me to stand up and Jesus didn't even say a single word to me. He just gave me a hug. He just pulled me up and then he just gave me a hug, you know, and without saying anything, when the Lord embraced me, I just felt and I knew it within my spirit that everything was going to be okay, that it didn't matter what anybody said, you know. <laughs> I was just suddenly so filled with joy and I was so happy and I was rejoicing. I was rejoicing and I was so happy and I really, really love this moment because, you know, it showed, it shows us 
that Jesus cares. He cares about us. He cares about how we feel. He's willing to comfort us no matter what we're going through. You know, he's a friend. He just gave me a hug. He just gave me a hug. He just stood there and I was just there, you know, with the Lord and and I felt so joyful. And then that's when the Lord went. He didn't even tell me anything. And then another instance that I really love, that shows how Jesus is our friend. You know, there was a time when I was praying with my sister, Zipporah and my younger sister, we were praying outside our house and my parents' house. We were praying outside and then we had been praying for a very, very long time. And then I was like very, very tired. And then the Lord, you know, the Lord just held my back. He touched my back very, very softly. And then the Lord, uh, he, he touched my back very softly. And then he said in my ear, you know, he told me, I heard him audibly. And I felt his hand physically touch my back. And then he, he said to me, pray a little bit more. You know, I had been so weak. We had been praying like all day from morning. And then I had been so weak. And when the Lord just touched me, when he just touched my back, and then he told me, pray a little bit more. In just that instant, immediately, I felt so refreshed. You know, I was so refreshed. I wasn't thirsty anymore. I wasn't tired anymore. You, I just felt like continuing to pray. And then I was so happy. I really, really loved this moment. You know, it encourages us that God is so near to us. He is, he's, he just wants to be our friend. Like he's willing to be our friend. And then the other, the other experience that I want to share the, uh, my sister Zipporah and I, we were at my house, and then we had been talking about the Lord, you know, we were just discussing, and then we were talking about how much we wanted to be close to Jesus, you know, just how we wished our relationship with Jesus was. And then suddenly the Lord visited us, you know, and, the, you know, the Lord came into the room where my sister Zipporah and I were because my sister also sees the Lord and then he came to where we were you know and then when the Lord came my sister and I thought that oh maybe Jesus wants to give us a message you know to pass like he always does and then he said no I'm just here to chat with you and that was very very precious to me you know it shows us Jesus wants to be our friend and then he, he just started to talk to us about our own personal things, about things in our lives. You know, he, he was just chatting with us like a friend and just telling us about so many different things. And I remember one of the things that the Lord told me, he, had to, he told me, and this was back in 2015, way back before I, I even had a baby. And then the Lord had told me that uh, he was going to give me a son. And then it was even before I got married. This was before I even got married. He told me, I'm going to give you a son. And then he even he started to talk to me about my son, you know, just personal things. So it just shows us that he wants to talk to us. You know, he's a father. He's a friend. He wants to chat with us. He wants to just, you to just sit down and just spend time with him. Don't keep a distance, you know. You think like he's after condemning you, he wants to be your friend. Like God really, really desires to be your friend. So God loves us. You know, he cares about us so much. Then the last experience that I wanted to share is one time I was in the living room. I had put the music on. I had put gospel music on and I had just been worshiping the Lord with music. I was so happy and I was just rejoicing. And then I was dancing. I was dancing, you know, like all over the room with the joy of the Lord. And then I was just singing to the Lord and dancing. And I just, you know, like I just let loose and just was worshiping the Lord with all my heart. And then I was like, I called out to the Lord and then I was like, Lord Jesus, 
come and dance with me. You know, I didn't even expect the next thing that happened because I was just like, Lord Jesus, come and dance with me. And the next thing, my spiritual eyes opened immediately. My hand was lifted up. One of my hands was lifted up like this as I was going round and round and dancing. And then the Lord opened my spiritual eyes there and then, you know, immediately when I said that, I saw the Lord holding my hand. He was holding the hand that I had, that, that, that I had lifted up. I could see his hand holding mine. His hand was made of pure white light, complete light. His hand was just literally made of light. It didn't look like flesh and blood. It just looked like light, but you can, you know, it was so beautiful. And he was holding my hand and dancing with me. And then I was so happy. I remember I, I went to court to, to tell my mom and my sister, like, Jesus was dancing with me, you know. I was telling the Lord that come and dance with me. And then he came and he was dancing with me. You know, God wants to be involved in our lives. He really wants to be close to us. He doesn't want to be a God who is far away. He wants to relate to us like a friend, like a father. So I am just encouraging you to pursue a personal relationship with Jesus, spend time with Jesus, listen to him. He wants to talk to you like you are his daughter, like you are his son. You are an individual, not just a group. The Lord loves you so much. And happy new year, happy 2021. Let 2021 be a year of God's goodness and mercy and let it be a year of pursuing a personal relationship with Jesus. God loves you so much.